Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of The Embarrassant Vlog, a very special edition, and we will get to why in just a second. Uh, but let's not waste any time, but let's get to the announcements. First off, tonight, High School Youth Group is in person at the church, so I will see you there at 6.30. Uh, we've kind of been sitting around and kind of hanging out for a little bit and then playing a bunch of games. So just come play games with us tonight, bring a chair if you like, come and just chill with us. We'd love to see you guys there. Also, there will be no youth group next week because of Memorial Day, and there will not be a vlog either, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, and we have summer events. We have things coming up this summer. As we start to open up more, things are returning to normal. That means we get fun summer events. So, Look for a flyer at the church. I'll be handing them out tonight. Um, or look for them at the youth table when you go to mass or just stop by the church and grab one. I will also be posting it to Instagram. So look there for all of our summertime events. The first one we got coming up, though, is actually next week, Thursday night, June 3rd. It's the summer. So uh, you guys are off of school, so I thought we could start off with a drive-in movie at the church. We'll be showing the classic summer movie, the excellent movie, The Sandlot, one of my favorites. So join us at about 8 o'clock next Thursday, the 3rd, for The Sandlot. And finally, as I've been touching on a little bit today, this is vlog number 50. Can you believe that? We've done 50 of these things. Um, but with it being blog number 50, and with us opening up more, being able to do more events, that means this will be our last vlog for a while. If uh, if we ever come back to them again, we'll see. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully we can just do normal youth groups. But uh, we will be ending the vlogs with this one. And it seems to be an appropriate time. It's vlog 50. It's also Pentecost. Uh, summer starting. It just seems to be the right time. So enjoy this last vlog. I know it's a little bit, it's a little bit bittersweet, at least it is for me who's been recording all of these, but it makes me excited that we get to go back to more of our normal youth groups again, and we don't have really need for these vlogs anymore. And because of that, we will be returning to more normal youth groups with worship and things like that starting sometime in July. So look forward to that. I will be announcing it when we return back to having full youth groups again. But enough of the announcements. Uh, we need to do the Dad Joke of the Week, our last one for these vlogs. Don't forget, though, the Dad Jokes will never die. And actually, I need an assistant for this one. So, hey, Walter. Come here, bud. He was sleeping. Walter's going to help me out with this one. Come here, buddy. This is Walter. Now, Walter, what's 2 minus 2? Guys, he, he says nothing. Get it? Nothing! Oh, 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 oh. But enough of that. Let's get to our theme for this week, which is endings and beginnings. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this past weekend was Pentecost, which marks the end of the Easter season, but is in its most simple form also the birthday of the church. So it's a beginning and an end. Now, Pentecost marks the moment the church was born. It's the Holy Spirit descending upon the disciples and giving them their mission. In other words, it's the end of the apostles being so directly steered by Jesus in the start of their ministries on their own, given the mission to go and spread the word throughout the world. Now, we see this in this past Sunday's gospel, the moment the Holy Spirit comes down upon the apostles and they're sent on their mission. So let's start with reading that. So this is our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the apostles were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The apostles rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, 
receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. So, we've been talking about this for the past few weeks. This mission we are being given in Easter time. Now, Easter time is over, but I spoke about this last week. As we come out of this pandemic, we are being given a unique opportunity to rise up out of these dark times, do something great and beautiful with them. And as Easter is coming to a close, it's an even better time to reflect on this. So today, we're going to commemorate beginnings and endings. On Pentecost, it's about the end of Jesus physically being in the midst of the apostles, but it's also about the beginning of their powerful ministry throughout the world, hence the birthday of the church. Now today, of course, we are also commemorating the end of these vlogs. They were a necessity in a dark time when it was hard for us to be physically together. We mark the hopefully approaching end of this pandemic, a time where things are returning to a form of normal. We look forward to a beginning as well, where we get to come back together to reunite the band, to see the family once again. And I've been loving that with you guys. But at moments like these, I think it's important to stop. We need to look back to study what we've been through what we've lost, what we've learned, and how it's all changed us. But then, after we reflect to turn forward, just as the apostles are being asked to do on Pentecost, to take all that we've been through and let it shape what we see on the horizon, to let it make us an instrument for good over this last year. We've learned the value of this precious time we have on earth, haven't we? We've learned what and who we value and how it feels when it's kept from us. So now that we're getting it all back, how will we better cherish it? How will we make it better? How will we be God's instrument for change in this time? How will we let him change us with the Holy Spirit after this year we've had? See, the apostles feel the Holy Spirit settle upon them in this reading. It's why we see red all over the church on Pentecost, from the banners to what the priest wears. Everything is red because we are lit up with the fire of the Holy Spirit. See, we are all aflame, being called to set the world on fire with the love and message of God. It's this new world that we find ourselves in. How will we burn even brighter? And truly, St. Catherine of Siena said, set the world ablaze. Well, guys, I think that's a good place to end today as we reflect on this time ending and a new time beginning. So let's close with a prayer today for Pentecost as we close out this last vlog. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit of life, inflame me with passion for the good news. Let my voice ring with the hope and promise of Christ. Holy Spirit of love, immerse me in compassion and kindness. May my words bring comfort to those in need of consolation and assurance. Holy Spirit of grace, enlighten my mind and heart. Fill my speech with expressions of peace and understanding. Amen. From the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, guys, thank you for joining me for this final vlog. I've really enjoyed doing these for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching them, and I'm excited to get back to normalcy, where we can have normal youth groups and we don't need these anymore. But to close out with a quote from the very cheesy song, Closing Time, by Semisonic, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. I love you guys. Have a great week. I hope to see you at the church. Remember, we are family. Let's bring the family back together. 
See you all at the church. Have a great one, guys. Bye.